Next, Chris Kenner, and I like it like that. The time is 12.30. This is Jack Donnell. Person-to-person news. <laughs> Bettendorf Wrap, your modern food world of greater variety and value. Bettendorf Wrap brings you person-to-person news. The latest on the It's Later Than You Think story. A Western source reports today that some wives and children of Soviet troops stationed in East Germany are now being sent home. Reports that Western dependents also are pulling out have been denied. In West Berlin, housewives are stockpiling foodstuffs. The Western powers are considering bolstering their West Berlin garrisons, and West German Chancellor Adenauer says his military forces will be boosted. In Rio, the president of Brazil has received a 14-page message from Khrushchev on the Berlin crisis. A spokesman relates, it's the most terrible message one can imagine. But that's all he would say. But there is a lighter side to the Berlin situation, at least for East German bricklayers. The East Germans have decided too many of their people are escaping over the barbed wire barricades and have started erection of a brick wall inside East Berlin. Norfolk, Virginia, 11 Cubans seeking political asylum in this country said today they took over a 3,800-ton freighter at gunpoint but in a bloodless encounter on the high seas with 23 fellow crewmen. The sugar-laden freighter dropped anchor in Chesapeake Bay late yesterday with 23 crewmen locked up in various sections of the ship. She was bound from Cuba for the Soviet Union. The captain told newsmen, the only way we could get out of Cuba was the way we did. The ship will be returned. More news in a moment. The most versatile dessert you can serve is ice cream, and Bettendorf Wrap is the place to go for truly fine, truly delicious ice cream. Smooth, rich Bettendorf Wrap premium quality ice cream is the perfect finale to any lunch or dinner. And there are so many ways you can serve it. Of course, premium quality ice cream in your favorite flavor is always delightful just as it is. Or serve it with a moist oven fresh cake from your Bettendorf Wrap Bakery Department. Think of the taste thrills you can create with different toppings from a simple chocolate sauce to fresh pineapple or coconut topping. Get premium quality ice cream at your nearby Bettendorf Wrap food store, where particular shoppers know that shopping is always nicer. Mount Vernon, Illinois. Six Mount Vernon youngsters, members of three families of migrant farm workers, are to undergo painful shots for rabies that authorities fear the children contacted recently in Michigan. The Michigan Health Department informed Mount Vernon authorities the youngsters, ranging in age from 4 to 17, were bitten or scratched by a pet skunk, which later proved to have been rabbit. St. Louis, Judge J.G. Van Curen of DeCoin, former member of the Illinois Commerce Commission, died last night in the St. Louis Hospital, where he'd undergone surgery after a short illness. He was 69 years old. Acton, Massachusetts, an explosion damaged part of a new building at the Air Reduction Sales Company in Acton this morning, but no one was injured. In California, or rather in Colorado, a 20-year-old boy and 18-year-old girl who had been missing since Wednesday in Estes Park have turned up unharmed. Milwaukee, two boys, ages two and four, were found dead in their Milwaukee homes this morning, and police say the housekeeper told them she had squeezed them until they were dead. A medical examiner says there are indications the younger child had been tortured with a lighted cigarette before he was killed. Trenton, New Jersey, the State Board of Medical Examiners has authorized Dr. Albert Weiner, an osteopath, to resume practice immediately, abiding by a court ruling that the medical board does not have the power to suspend a license in cases of gross negligence. The doctor is under indictment for involuntary manslaughter in connection with the hepatitis deaths of 15 of his patients. Santa Cruz, California, thousands of gulls, apparently blinded by heavy fog, bottled up the town of Santa Cruz this morning. The birds landed on streets and highways, completely blocking traffic. They crashed into buildings and signboards and scared the daylights out of the local citizenry. Honolulu, a lot of excitement at Pearl Harbor. The radar reported a Russian ship within the three-mile limit. A destroyer, stacked belching smoke, charged out to investigate. The U.S. captain got out the book and in holding Russian demanded over the bullhorn what the blankety-blank a Russian ship was doing inside our territory. Came the answer, loud and clear, in English. She was a New Zealand freighter inbound for Honolulu. Stocks and weather in a moment. If you're expecting company over the weekend, let your Bettendorf Wrap food store lend a hand in the dessert department. Whether you prefer cake, pie, cookies, or delightful pastry treats, you can be sure to serve a dessert to remember when it comes from the Bettendorf Wrap bakeries. Cakes are high, light, and moist with butter-rich icings and delicious flavors. Pie dough is flaky light, tender enough to please the most particular taste. There's always an assortment of cookies, too, for the children or the whole family. Be sure to visit the bakery department at your Bettendorf Wrap food store, where particular shoppers know that shopping is always nicer.
11 a.m. Dow Jones stock averages. Industrials up 1.46. Rails up 0.73. Utilities up 0.18. Stocks up 0.59. The weather word for the hour, pollinated. Mostly sunny today. Slight chance of a shower this afternoon and evening. High around 90. Low tonight near 66. More of the same tomorrow. Humidity now 48%. The pollen count, ragweed 108. Mold 26. Present temperature 86 degrees. That's 86 degrees. Bettendorf Wrap, your modern food world of greater variety and value. Bettendorf Wrap has brought you Person to Person News by Line Jack Donnell. 23 minutes till 1 at Colorful KWK. Refreshing small staff beer. The call you hear heading out for your favorite spot where the big ones are sure to be hitting. And going fishing or just wishing you were, it's more sport with full stop. Brisk, refreshing as a blue water breeze. That's the lighthearted taste, the choice and cheerful flavor of light, refreshing Falstaff beer. There's lighthearted living in lighthearted Falstaff. Food for fresh, lighthearted taste with the heart of finest barley. Heart of purest water, too. And the heart of the hops for a lighthearted brew. There's lighthearted living in lighthearted Falstaff. America's premium quality beer. Ice down the case. 24 frosty bottles or cans of Falstaff. Coast to coast, America's choice for a lighthearted living. There's a fresh and colorful sound in the air everywhere over St. Louis today. KWK Person to Person News has enlivened its coverage and presentation of those events which make up the news of this world we live in. And now, Radio KWK will present the newest and most refreshing aspect of colorful radio... This coming Saturday. Join us then, won't you, for a new and powerful innovation on KWK Person to Person News. Take a romantic Riviera rendezvous, add Rock Hudson and his irresistible ways, Gina Lola Bridget and her fiery temper, then add Sandra D and her refreshing innocence, Bobby Darren and his wonderful singing voice. Then let nature take its course. And the result? The happiest movie in years. Come September in Technicolor. For fun's sake, just remember, come September. Come September, now showing at the cool Fox Theater, continuous matinees daily musical selections heard on KWK can be purchased at Music City Grand and Washington in Midtown St. Louis. Now you can get the big value. You can get the big, big value when you shop at Spartan. Don't miss the tremendous grand opening super savings with every department chock full of sensational super discount values. Spartan is open from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. daily, 12 noon to 7 p.m. Sundays for your shopping convenience. That's Spartan, Super Discount Department Store, 9785 St. Charles Rock Road. Grand opening sale now going on. The weather word, mostly sunny today. Some early morning haze and fog. Only a slight chance of a thunder shower this afternoon and evening. High around 90 degrees. Right now, 12 till 1 on KWK. Calm winds, 48% humidity and 86 degrees. This is the Rex Miller Program, the only radio show ever reviewed in an obituary column. Remember Steve Ray Rickman, Steve Ray Rickman. Ray Rickman for a great kid. Ray Rickman for a dog. Boom, boom. Ray Rickman has turned back the hands of time. Yes, sir. Ray Rickman has gone back to 1958 prices on beautiful 1961 cars. This means that you can buy a brand new 1961 Dodge Dart. Not a compact model, but a standard size Dodge Dart for the fantastically low price of $1,996. Ray did it in 58, and by golly, he's going to do it again. He actually plans to sell beautiful new 1961 Dodge Darts at 1958 prices. See Ray Rixman at Dodge City today. Get in on this fabulous sale. That's Ray Rixman's Dodge City, partner. 7916 North Broadway. Open every night till 10. Remember see Ray Rixman. 79 and 15 North Broadway. Remember Steve Ray Rickman. Steve Ray Rickman. Ray Rickman for a great Ray Rickman for a dog. Jack Donnell, person to person. Castro reported bringing out the firing squads again. I'll have the full story in just eight minutes at one o'clock. We're here. 
We're here because Detroit comes to St. Louis, the greatest transmission service on earth. Detroit Transmission opens in our new specially designed and equipped building at 6500 Page Avenue. Your transmission may leak, slip, or not work at all, but it won't cure itself. It will only get worse. See Detroit Transmission, the super experts, where transmission service is our only business. And get a free transmission inspection at 6500 Page or call Parkview 71006. For all our customers, no money down, 24-hour service round the clock, 12-month or 12,000-mile guarantee in writing, SNH screen stamps, too. Detroit has come to St. Louis, so don't take chances. See the experts. Detroit Transmission, 6500 Page Avenue, or call Parkview 71006. We're on the go with the Rex Miller program for Friday, and it's seven minutes to one at KWK. <laughs> Where music lives. Mabel, Black Label, Carling Black Label B. Don't forget the St. Louis football Cardinals will battle the Western champion Green Bay Packers at Bush Stadium tonight for the benefit of the Cardinal Glennon Memorial Hospital for Children. Hope you'll attend that. We're about three minutes away from one. When you take a drive on a sail, I drive with care. Keep an eagle eye on the other guy till you're there. Let music, music, music cheer you on your way. From Radio 1380, KWK. Is this Nick Dine Weed's commercial? Yeah, this is Dine Reed. Oh, cut it out, Roger. Stop joking, Roger. We've got serious work to do. Don't be so serious. Eating Weed's German-style potato salad is fun. You can't buy finer potato salad at any price. Serve Reed's German potato salad piping hot. It's delicious. That's delicious. Reed's hot German potato salad. R-E-A-D, Reed's. The time is 1 o'clock. This is Jack Donnell with Person to Person News. <laughs> Cuban Revolutionary Council President Jose Cardona today appealed to the presidents of 15 Latin American countries to try to stop the impending execution of 44 students and two Roman Catholic priests in Cuba. He said he has learned the prisoner group is to go before a Castro court on Monday on counter-revolutionary charges. Cape Canaveral, a Polaris missile exploded in flight today, 33 seconds after being launched from a ship some seven miles offshore. The Navy reported the range safety officer destroyed the projectile when it veered off course. Washington Vice President Johnson will fly to Bonn and West Berlin this weekend to assure the West Germans of U.S. support in the Berlin crisis. Meanwhile, the West German Parliament is meeting in special session in Bonn to discuss Berlin. And in London, the United States, Britain, and France are reported considering an increase in their West Berlin garrison. Washington, President Kennedy has signed a military appropriations bill calling for an outlay of more than $46 billion and another bill they're marking nearly $9 billion for various federal agencies. Cape Canaveral Explorer 12, the new U.S. satellite, has completed its second elongated orbit of the Earth. Fort Bragg, the big military exercise known as Swift Strike, has wound up in the Carolinas. In the final operation, the 101st Airborne successfully completed the counterattack, driving the 82nd Airborne Division back across the P.D. River. New Orleans, a county police jury in an ad appearing today in a New Orleans newspaper, said two FBI agents were checking voter registration in the parish and asked voters not to answer any questions. Said the ad... Two FBI agents are in the parish checking on registration of voters and for the Civil Rights Commission. Your registration is none of their business. Answer no questions. Tell them they are not welcome. Stand on your registration and right to vote. Columbia, South Carolina. An 18-year-old debutante who skipped out on her lavish $6,000 wedding in Miami was picked up near Columbia today by a South Carolina Highway Patrolman. Gigi Gorman was brought to the State Highway Patrol headquarters and questioned after being stopped by state troopers. Her father, Harold Gorman, a retired trucking company executive, yesterday took out a grand larceny warrant in Florida against his daughter. He charged her with theft of his $4,500 sports car. In Miami, police said Gorman apparently did not intend to prosecute. He just wanted to find her. Gigi disappeared Tuesday night after the wedding rehearsal in Miami. She canceled her wedding to 20-year-old Robert Oliver III and left a note on her pillow. In Hollywood, the romance of Sir Side 6 TV star Troy Donahue and actress Lily Cardell is gone... Donahue's ex-fiancé says he knocked her down, but she caught him with another girl in his apartment. 
Donahue replies, I don't see how she could be hurt because I took most of the slapping around. And besides, that girl was my grandmother. St. Louis, 16-year-old Otha Shepard of 302 Dixon collapsed and died last night after touching an electric lamp while seated on a radiator in a friend's home. Shepard was taking part in an informal song fest in the home of Albert Claudie at 4220 Washington when the mishap occurred. St. Louis, two big brave bandits strong-armed a 74-year-old blind man last night in an alley at the rear of the 2200 block Menard. The victim, Sam Barton of 2209 South 10th, was knocked to the ground and taken for $2. However, he declined medical attention. St. Louis, the Federal Reserve District reports St. Louis department store sales for the week down 8% compared to last year. East St. Louis, a 39-year-old Caseyville man, Clyde Gines, was seriously injured last night when police say he jumped out of a moving dump truck at Missouri and Collinsville Avenues and was run over by the rear wheels. Police said they were told Gines and his wife were passengers in the truck, driven by 28-year-old Walter Urban, a 564 Washington place in East St. Louis, and the victim jumped out during an argument with his wife. Mount Vernon, Illinois. Police in Mount Vernon are seeking a piggy bank robber. Mrs. White Lee told authorities an intruder entered her home during the night and looted her piggy bank of nearly $20. Granite City, a 61-year-old Belleville man, Lloyd Shanafelt, was seriously injured early today when his car went out of control on Highway 3, a mile north of Bypass 66, and crashed into a tree. Carbondale, fall enrollment at SIU is expected to exceed 10,000 persons for the first time in the school's history. In France, the St. Louis entertainer, Josephine Baker, has received the Legion of Honor in recognition of her services with the French underground during World War II. Kansas City, although owner Charles Finley denies it, there are increasing signs the Kansas City athletics may be moved to Dallas, Texas. The Dow Jones stock averages, industrials up 1.46, rails up 0.73, utilities up 0.18, and stocks up 0.59. Weather word for the hour, pollinated. Mostly sunny, but with a few isolated showers this afternoon and early evening. High near 90. Generally fair tonight, low around 70. Mostly sunny tomorrow, slight chance of an isolated shower. High back up to around 90. Sunday, partly cloudy and more scattered showers. Humidity now 50%. The temperature 86 degrees. That's 86 degrees. KWK has brought you Person to Person News. By line, Jack Donnell. <laughs> Castells and Sacred at seven minutes after one on the Rex Miller program. Our weather word for the day, good, good, good. 86 degrees right now downtown, hotter than Liberace's candles. William Castle, you are charged with frightening people half to death. How do you plead? Guilty, but with a request for mercy. While I agree that my newest motion picture, Homicidal, the story of a psychotic killer, will make strong men cringe and weak women scream. I have been prevailed upon to show special compassion for the faint-hearted. What form does this special compassion take, Mr. Castle? I have instructed theater managers everywhere to issue coward certificates to the weak need. Good for a complete refund of admission price should they feel it terrifyingly necessary to retire to our coward's corner at the fright break. And what is the fright break? Well, that's just the moment before the blood-curdling climax of homicidal. See Columbia Pictures' Homicidal. Do it. Be sure to see Homicidal. Now showing at the Bel Air Drive-In, Granite City, the Ritz Theater, 3147 South Grand, Ronnie's Drive-In on Lindbergh South, and the Thunderbird Drive-In on Natural Bridge West of Goodfellow. KWK. Fresh as a daisy. KWK. Colorfully yours. Exciting, brilliant, fun-loving. In the air, everywhere. In St. Louis. Where it's now 86 degrees and steaming.